what is a hash value? A hash function is an algorithm that maps data of a variable length to a data of a fixed length. The values returned by a hash function are called hash values. A hash value is a result of a hash algorithm that can be performed on a string of text, electronic files, or even into our hard drives. Regardless of the amount of data fed into a specific hash algorithm, it will return the same number of characters. MD5 hash uses 32 characters for the thumbprint, whether it's a single character in a text file or an entire hard drive. Secure hash algorithm, which stands for SHA1, produces a 160-bit hash value, typically expressed as a hexadecimal number with a 32-bit word size. An SHA2, named after their digest length and bits, includes a SHA224, an SHA-256, which generates a 32-bit word size, and an SHA-384, an SHA-512, which generates a 64-bit word size. And lastly, the ripen 160-bit hash, which are typically represented as a 40-digit hexadecimal number. How to generate a hash value. Here we are in Cryptool, and we'll show you how to use the hash function. We have a document that we wish to make a hash value out of to ensure the integrity of the information hasn't changed. So go to Individual Procedures, Hash, SHA1, and then Store Hash Value to Hex Format. By doing so, it's going to generate a series of characters, which will be your hash value. What happens to hash values when data is changed? Now we'll show an example of a document that has been altered with. We will change the date in this document and see how this affects the hash value. So by changing the year from 2008 to 2013 and generating a new hash value from the steps we previously discussed, so by comparing the two hash values, you can clearly see that the document has been altered with. Even though we just changed the date from 2008 to 2013, the two hash values are significantly different. How do hash values provide security? Show you how encryption works with hashing and first we're going to start with RC4, 16-bit. Just four little numbers there that we can select. So I'm just going to type in a random one, click encrypt, and there's a bunch of gibberish that comes up. So now we're going to try just analyzing this. 16-bit, click start, and done instantly. This is because there's only a certain amount that uh, the 16-bits can generate, so it's pretty unsecure. We're going to go with AES now, which is a lot more secure, 128 bits. And we're going to go just type random numbers in here. Click Encrypt, and again, gibberish. No, nothing really you can tell from that. So we're going to try analyzing this and see how long it takes. So we're going to click Start here. And you can see pretty much forever. It says 1.8. Yeah. So we're going to look at the description. None of them even make sense. So you can see pretty secure. Not going to be decrypted anytime soon. Next, we're going to try AES again, but this time I'm just going to do zeros and ones throughout the whole thing. So I just typed this in real quick, click encrypt. As you can tell, nothing there makes sense, so we're going to try analyzing this. So, now we're going to try and decrypting this. I'm going to give the decryptor even half the information or more. And when we click start, you can see it's going to take a really long time. None of the stuff in the description of any of the ones that came up first makes any sense and you can see this is why hashing is very secure and why it is used why are hash values used common uses of hashing algorithms are to store computer passwords the idea is that hashing can produce a unique value that corresponds to the data that you enter so for example you want to log on to a website so you have a client you have a database. So let's say you want to log on to Facebook. You enter a string of text, which is your password. Your computer performs the hash function and sends the hash value to the database. The database compares the hash value that you sent to the hash value that's on file for you. Then it sends a rejection or approval to the client which lets you log on to the website. What are security risks? A major security risk in hashing is collision attacks. 
A collision attack is an attack where an attacker finds two different messages that hash the same value. This type of attack is very difficult and requires generating a separate algorithm that attempts to find a text that will hash the same values in a hash. Here is an example of us using Backtrack to generate a, a collision attack. As you can see, the CPU usage jumps to 50% for the whole computer, and for the Apache 2 client's allocation, it jumps to 100% of CPU usage. This is an example of a collision attack. And what are the examples? That's all, folks.